नमस्ते वेलकम टू हार्ट बीट एपिसोड टुडे वी आर हेयर टू डिस्कस वन ऑफ द प्रोसीजर वी कॉल इलेक्ट्रोफिजोलॉजी स्टडी ई पी स्टडी एंड आई एम ट्राइंग टू कवर दिस थिंग इन थ्री एपिसोड्स द फर्स्ट एपिसोड इज रिगार्डिंग द वॉट बेसिकली ई पी स्टडी सो ई पी स्टडी इज स्टडी ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रिकल सिस्टम ऑफ द हार्ट हार्ट इज हैविंग इट्स ओन इलेक्ट्रिकल एक्टिविटी एंड वी आर गोइंग टू चेक बाई द कंप्यूटराइज सिस्टम सो इन दिस वी टेक थ्री कैथेटर्स एंड दीज थ्री कैथेटर्स आर लोकेटेड इन द हार्ट इन द अपर एंड लोअर चैम्बर एंड इन द कोरनरी साइनस एंड बाई दैट वी टेक द इलेक्ट्रिकल इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द हार्ट ऑन द कंप्यूटर सिस्टम एंड देयर वी चेक हाउ द इलेक्ट्रिकल सिस्टम इज बिहेविंग we give some extra beats and we bring back the tachycardia we can say the arrhythmia and then locate it and this is the all procedure we call as a electrophysiology study so when we can locate the electrical circuit which is responsible for this arrhythmia and then we give the laser energy which we call as a rf ablation so this type of study is usually conducted not usually like a a day care but mostly the patient has to be there for for one day and the reason is this is done through the femoral route means we are going to use the thigh veins for entering inside the heart and these three catheters which are somewhat uh, bulkier than the uh, coronary uh, angiographic catheters and after the procedure we usually keep the patient for 24 hours and we discharge and there are two ways one is the conventional way where the, we are using the x ray or the cine system and other is a 3d means the three dimensional mapping of the arrhythmia where we uh, create the anatomy of the heart on the computer by the this catheters and patches and later on we locate so here the radiation exposure is less and at the same time the precision of the uh, location of the arrhythmia circuit is also better than the conventional so this is the way we do the ap study and you can see this uh, we have punctured three veins we are taking the catheter inside then this is the computer system in which the arrhythmia has come then we are locating and in this next you are seeing that we have taken the ablation catheters and by this ablation catheters we are giving controlled energy we call it the thermal energy or radio frequency energy at that particular location which is responsible for tachycardia and we ablate and after that the patient is sometime cured of the disease depending upon the type of diagnosis so thank you so much this is all about the ep study In the next episode we will be discussing what are the complication risk and how is the life after the EP study